Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another Shiba Inu video. Got a good one for you today. It's not going to take very long, so uh, sit back, relax, and enjoy. But before you start uh, relaxing and enjoying the content, please do me a favor. Smash that thumbs up button to let me know you care. And also, if you're new here, don't just be a visitor. Uh, I want you to join our community by uh, hitting that subscribe button. Anyways, enough of that. Let's get into the content. It's no secret that a lot of us aspire to becoming Shiba Inu millionaires. Now, some of you that just heard me say that are probably thinking, what is this guy crazy? We all want to be Shiba Inu millionaires. Well, the reason that I say some is because not everybody has the same goals as us, the same aspirations. Some people uh, aspire to do much greater things, right? For example, a good friend of mine, he doesn't just want to be a Shiba Inu millionaire, he wants to become a Shiba Inu billionaire. And the reason that I say this is because no matter what your goal is, whether it is to become you know, a, a millionaire or a billionaire, whether it is to make $1 million off a SHIB or to make 10 or 20 or $30 off a SHIB, you have to have a plan. You have to know how you're going to get there. And that's kind of what we're going to be talking about today. So first you have to set a goal. So if you've done so, if you know you want to make, let's say, $1 million or $5 million or 10 or 20 or $30 million off a of ship, you got to be thinking about, well, what will it take in order for me to get there? How much SHIB should I be holding? So if you're anything like me, then you're probably not psychic, which means you can't look into the future and tell exactly what SHIB's going to be trading at and when. With that being said, we have to come up with assumptions for a future valuation of SHIB in order for us to be able to formulate some type of plan. As we all know, SHIB is one of the most valuable, low-priced digital currencies that you can get your hands on today. In fact, one dollar, just one dollar, gets you about 115,000 SHIB tokens at today's prices. However, the question still remains, just how much SHIB should you be holding? How much should you be buying? Should you be adding to your position? So let's make an assumption and then let's take a look at some numbers. Let's assume that SHIB were to reach one penny. How much SHIB would you need to hold at one penny in order to have a million dollars worth of SHIB? You would need a hundred million SHIB tokens. Now the value of that today is roughly around 880 bucks. Meaning that if you spend 880 bucks today, you could potentially be a millionaire when SHIB hits that one penny mark. But what if you wanted more than a million? What if you wanted, let's say, uh... What if you wanted to make 3 million when SHIB hits a penny? Well, then you would need 300 million Shiba Inu tokens, which would cost you around uh, $2,600 today. But what if 3 million isn't enough for you? What if you're more ambitious than that? What if you want more along the lines of $20 million? Well, $20 million, it would take 2 billion SHIB tokens, and in today's money, that would cost you over $17,500. Now that you guys have a pretty good idea of just how many SHIB tokens you should be holding in order to reach your goals for whenever uh, SHIB hits that penny mark, let me know in the comments below, how many are you holding? Because I'm kind of curious to see who's holding what. Uh, are you planning on adding more to your position? What are your plans? Uh, I want to hear from you guys. Let me know in the comments below. And don't you forget to smash that thumbs up button. And of course, if you're new here and haven't subscribed yet, please don't forget to do so either because we've got great content coming every single day. But that's all for now, guys. I'll see you in the next video.